Hey friends, it's Sunday morning and it's video time. In this episode, we're going to be looking at Marty for President. And this is the EP cover because this is an EP. It's got six songs on it. This album has more features than it has songs. Let me let me fact check that because I'm not sure if that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, it has an equal number of features and um, and songs. But Marty for president. Marty is one half of the Christian rap duo uh, Social Club Misfits. I think they are the Christian rap duo. Um, yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, there is Andy Minio in Words Played. But that was for one project, so that doesn't count. Yeah, these guys are the Christian rap duo. They're signed to Capitol Records, which is, you know, the big money Christian music label. They're not on, like, the, the Christian rap label, which is... On, they're not on a Christian rap label explicitly. They're not on, you know, Humble Beast. They're not on, you know, uh, 116, you know, get that, get that Reach Records in there. No, these guys are doing it um, with the big label. And, um, yeah. This album is really weird. It's got very jarring shifts in tone. It opens with the one about the misfit, which starts as this really slow song with really simple music where he's just kind of rapping with this, like, lo-fi hip-hop beat in the background. And then he yells and screams and just goes really hard. And the bass goes... And it's so loud and it's so, like... Ah, and it just becomes this crazy high energy uh, Hulk smash kind of song with the the anger in his voice and the hardcore Vibe and you know what this is the best song on the album It is a killer opening track and it's so so good The one with the villain is a vibey song. It's just kind of vibes and that's all I got to say about it. It's not great, but it is kind of good. It's got a cool vibe, but really that's all the song has going for it, which is a problem with the song. We'll just jump to it. The one with the vibes, which is explicitly stated to be a vibey song, even in the title. And it's just a vibe. It doesn't really go anywhere. The song just kind of exists and it's a cool vibe. I'm, I'm vibing with this song. I'm vibing with the vibe of this song. But it feels like a very one-note song. It feels very one-sided. And, you know, while I like both of these songs, they're just not something that I come back to very frequently. And not something I, I really like that much. Once again, another two songs on this um, album, on this EP, can be mixed together. And those are The One Where She Stayed and The One With The Awkwardness Live. Both of these songs are really awkward. Marty is a very awkward person. And that awkwardness really is a personality trait for him. Um, it comes through especially when you see him compared to other rappers, which is really funny on the song, uh, The One With My Friends, which is one of those songs, well, back to, I'll, I'll get to that, but uh, the one where she stayed and the one with the awkwardness are very awkward. They're funny, they got a laugh out of me, um, especially the one with the awkwardness live, and I actually do like the instrumental on that live track. But the songs, once again, very one note. It's like a joke song. It's not something, either song, it's hard for me to imagine someone like actually like listening to them on purpose and being like, oh, I really like this song. It's like, really? Um, it's like a skit almost, both of the songs. And why would you have two songs that are skits on a six song EP? That's kind of weird. And they're, they're the length of songs. Like, the one with, I mean, the one with the awkwardness is almost five minutes, and then the one where she stayed just kind of goes, and it's just kind of like, I, I don't care. The one with my friends is one of those rap songs. I don't know the, the name, what the word is for these. There's another one of the, uh, I don't, okay. Ugh, I can't talk. The one with my friends is one of those rap songs, which is just like a feature rap song, which is just like... You know, the person who made the song has one verse, but every single verse is by a different rapper. I know Eminem has been a part of this. The Friday Night Cypher, I think is what it's called on Big Sean's new album, was one of these. And it was like nine minutes long. And then you had like Eminem. There was one with like, I think Monster. I don't know if Monster by Kanye West counts. Nah, eh, probably not. But there's, there's several of these. There's another one called Hashtag Same Team, which has, it's a, you know, a Christian rap feature. 
Um, now They Know is another one that Andy Minio's on. The 116 songs, there's the 116 label, and then they had these songs with just like a ton of people. Um, Lecrae has Misconceptions Part 3, which is one of those kind of tracks. But that's what this is, and it's awesome. The beat on this is super good. Every single rapper asserts their dominance. Like, even Marty sounds really good, but his verse is so awkward and weird and funny. And then he's like, and he opens the song with, I think I'm the worst rapper on this entire song. And then it goes into, the other rappers on this thing are NF, who does a good job. His is a little bit corny. I think his is one of the lesser bars. Um, this is when NF was trying to still like figure out his sound and stuff, so it wasn't the best. John Givis, Words Played, Caleb Mitchell, and Fern. Fern is the other half of Social Club Misfits. And all these other guys do a great job. No one overstays their welcome. Everybody kills it. This is a really cool song. But all that doesn't really matter. The point is Marty's political opinions because the project is called Marty for President. It's Marty for President. This is Marty for President 1. He actually made Marty for President 2 in 2020. Hype to talk about that. I will um, in the far future. I will talk about Marty for President 2. I still have a lot on the schedule. Um, anyway, yeah, um, yes, I, yes, I would vote for Marty. Marty for president, there's yes or no, I'm giving this a yes. Marty for president is a yes out of five. Would you vote for Marty? Let me know down in the comments. Have a great rest of your day.